everyone, welcome back to my channel. So continuing my French woman style theme, I wanted to share with you 15 stylish French brands that I have on my shopping list. to be Parisian and have that effortless and innate sense of style. And while I love a touch of cool British fashion, I can't deny that French brands have been taking over my wardrobe a lot recently. So if like me, you love that French woman style, or at the very least are happy to borrow some of their style tips along the way, here's 15 stylish French brands that can help. Mage Paris. I love their new campaign slogan, forget winter, let's make summer last forever, which if you've followed my channel for a while, you'll know suits me just fine. I bought this blouse recently and I would say it sums up the Parisian brand perfectly. It's feminine and elegant, but with a heavy dose of French chic. The polka dots are a really nice nod to one of the big trends we'll see for this autumn winter. And I love this frilled detail that goes all the way over the shoulder and back down the sleeve. I think that's really, really pretty. What I love about French women is that confidence to style outfits however they choose. Not sticking to old school rules or trends particularly, just wearing what they love and what they feel comfortable in. So with that in mind, I've styled this blouse with my girlfriend jeans, which are insanely comfy but they add that nonchalant, effortless style that I'm after. Adding strappy heels to give me a little bit of height and a dainty handbag to keep the look refined. Musier. If you're looking for more edgy French brands, then look no further than Musier Paris. The label might only be a couple of years old, but it's a firm favorite with fashion bloggers all around the world for its cool girl take on French style. I personally really like their pretty spaghetti strap tops that nip in all the right places. And I think their take on the classic wrap dress is really beautiful. Be it long or short, there's a sort of understated sexiness to them, which I really love. And though I'm usually fond of a fairly neutral wardrobe, I would actually buy that dress in neon pink. I think it's gorgeous. Zadig and Voltaire. Now we all have that piece that got away and for me it was a pair of Zadig and Voltaire ankle boots. I saw them at Vista Village, absolutely loved them. I have no idea why I didn't buy them because I've thought about them ever since. So I have here a new pair of boots that I wanted to share with you. So this is their classic cowboy boot and I went for them in the suede tan option. You've got a very tiny bit of detail on the front here with the stitching and then the elastic at the two sides which should hopefully make them a bit easier to get on. First impressions, I love the color, I love the shape. I like the fact that it's quite skinny on the ankle here so that should fit under jeans quite nicely so let me try them on and see what you all think now i will be honest they are coming up a little bit tight but i'm not sure if that's because i've got quite wide feet or if the shape is quite slim line however saying that i absolutely love them and they were in the sale as well so I feel slightly better about spoiling myself. Most people will probably be absolutely fine going true to size, but as I was a figure skater for about 15 years, my feet are completely wrecked and I do find it difficult finding something that is super comfortable on the width. But I'm not feeling despondent. I think the style is absolutely gorgeous. I just need to get the right fit for me. So do have a look at their collection online. I shall include a link in the description box below. I think if you like my style, then you'll probably really love Zadig and Voltaire because it's very much my cup of tea. Tinsels. Now I came across Tinsels recently and I knew pretty much straight away it was my sort of brand. The collection feels more traditional French style than anything too edgy and it was really affordable as well. Tops seemed to retail about 60 euros and most of their dresses were under 100 euros. I love this simple blue dress made from 100% cotton. I really like this linen blend jacket but the star of the show for me this season is their stripe print as you can see, done here in a great pop of coral and white. Using high quality fabrics to make those everyday staples. Definitely one to watch. Cezanne. I couldn't do a French fashion brand video and not include one of my absolute favorites. For me, this Parisian label just got everything right. I love the fabrics they use, lots of organic cottons and linens and silks. The designs are often shapes I haven't seen before and the pieces all last really, really well. They've just got Parisian chic down to an art. Now you've probably gathered my Cezanne collection is ever growing. 
but I just find everything so wearable. Now, if I could think of one criticism, and I am clutching at straws here, it would be that items tend to go out of stock really, really quickly. So if you do see something you like, you have to work fast. But in truth, I kind of like that. You're not going to see everyone with the same blazer or dress as you on the high street. I absolutely love the girlfriend jeans. Though I also have the slim parfaits and I wear them a huge amount. The Gaspard cardigan, which I have in camel, but I'd also really like to buy it in the light pink and the gray mall. And my new Faro bucket bag, of course, which I style into so many different outfits. They are actually launching their new pre-fall collection today. So I've written a blog post with all my key pieces I have on my shopping list. At the end of this video, if you follow the link in the description box below to have a read of all my favorites. Imparfait Paris. When it comes to being sustainable, it doesn't get much better than buying secondhand. And as we know, the French aren't particularly fussy about what's on trend, it's all about the fit. That might be why secondhand store Imparfait has one of the largest collections of Levi 501s I've ever seen. Because no self-respecting French woman would have a wardrobe without them. Pair them with a cozy Austrian cardigan and of course the obligatory blazer, and you'll be looking like a local in no time. Palem Paris. I have one lucky girl I know because I just added this beautiful new handbag to my collection. So the first bag I chose with them was this one, which is called the Numero Set. And I went for this in the two-tone of camel. You've probably seen me use this an awful lot and mix and match it with all my different outfits. I absolutely love this bag. So although the new bucket bag had just been launched and it's absolutely the sort of thing I would use, I had just bought a bucket bag, so it seemed wasteful of me to get another one. So I decided what I really needed for my wardrobe was quite a classic shape. So that is why I went for the numero un in plain black. Now I've talked about Palen Paris before, you know I absolutely love the brand, both from a design point of view, but also quality wise. The craftsmanship to their bags is just impeccable. So this is their classic best-selling handbag and it's made from full-grained calf leather. It feels absolutely beautiful, really, really high quality. I can't stress that enough. And it's actually been made in Spain in the small town that is very famous for making lots of designer handbags. That's kind of what they're known for. I must apologize as well that I didn't get a chance to film an unboxing of this handbag. I had a little peek when the box arrived and I was far too excited to use it to even get the camera out. Sessun. Now this brand was born back in the 90s by anthropology student Emma Francois. And having spent a vast amount of her time in South America, it definitely had an impact on her designs. First collection having been made entirely from cotton and the second from alpaca. Looking ahead at her autumn winter collection for 2021, with beautiful blouses made from a jacquard voile and tweed pea coats worn with roll necks. It's undeniably French, even if you knew nothing about the brand. All three of those pieces are on my wish list, along with this beautifully simple patty dress, and I'd love to try out their classic white tees. La Redoute. While we know and love La Redoute for their own fashion brand being quintessentially French, not to mention their collaborations with the likes of Balzac Paris and stocking a few favorites like the Couples and Veya. It's essentially a one-stop shop for all your French woman's style. On top of all that, I've been a big champion of their homeware range. My bedside tables, dining chairs, and lanterns all came from them. And I've also got a desk on the way too. In my personal experience, the quality has been fantastic, and I found pieces I had in my head but couldn't find anywhere else. Rouge. You can't get much more French woman chic than the stunningly beautiful Jean de Masse. So when the Instagrammer slash model launched her own collection back in 2016, it was good news for everyone who'd ever lusted after her style. There's a nostalgia to the collection, nipped in waists and gentle puff sleeves, reminiscent of 40s designs, not forgetting the undertone of sexiness the entire collection oozes. It's never overtly so, mind you. She's ever the understated goddess. Mes Demoiselles. I couldn't forget my love for a little bohemian spirit with this next brand. I fell in love with their collections a couple of seasons ago and it's always on my tick list of brands to check out each season. The dresses for starters are just divine 
original in their design and made from beautiful fabrics. You can literally feel you're getting your money's worth. Looking at their new season, I love the unusual shape of this skirt, this printed silk kimono, and I really like the mishmash of this whole outfit. It really shouldn't work, but I absolutely love it. Claudie Pierlo. Claudie Pierlo was launched in 1984 after the designer's long history in the industry. The brand actually reminds me of Miu Miu. There's a certain cuteness to all the little details. A Peter Pan collar here, a tweed short, and that unmistakably French tweed jacket. But don't let that cuteness fool you. The brand always seems to have a surprise up their sleeve, reinventing the classics and bringing them right up to date. Comptoir de Cotonniers. This brand is all about French culture and craftsmanship. Their pieces are always elegant and made from high quality fabrics. And it's neither too cool for school or too basic. For me, it strikes the balance to finding those core classic pieces with little touches that make them something just a little bit different. I love their Breton tops styled here, tucked into that gorgeous midi skirt, or their slightly masculine suits that have a certain je ne sais quoi. From a staples point of view, I'd like to add these straight wool boyfriend trousers to my wardrobe. And I featured this dress in a video recently because I've literally had it in my wardrobe for years. It's been beautifully made from a lovely crepe fabric. I've chucked it in the washing machine more times than I care to remember and it still looks as good as new, which is a really good sign to a brand's quality. YSE. I first came across this brand on Instagram, actually, when I spotted the cutest looking pants with the day of the week written across the back of them in French. The new season version has the names Serge and Jane after one of my absolute favorite style icons. So it's no big surprise that I was going to absolutely love this brand. They have a really beautiful collection of lingerie and swimwear designed by women for women of all shapes and sizes, which I absolutely love. Everything is hugely feminine and delicate, but with a little French twist. And it strikes the balance between being on trend and practicality perfectly. Swildens. Now I discovered this brand a while ago, actually. I was shopping for the boys on a website called Smallable. If you've never heard of it and you've got children or grandchildren, they sell some beautiful, beautiful collections. So anyway, they started delving into a little bit of women's wear and Swildens was one of their collections. And it absolutely stood out from the very start. It's kind of on a similar train of thought to Ms. Demoiselle with a little bit of a bohemian spirit to it but it's more affordable, more accessible. Most of the dresses are retailing under 100 euros, so definitely in that high end of the high street bracket as well. I love the lace detailing on this white cotton dress. I think that's absolutely beautiful. And I love this style of open work on cardigans too. I think it gives it a pretty vintage feel. So hopefully this video has given you a good rundown of all the French fashion brands I tend to look at. Creating the perfect French woman style is certainly a lot easier when buying from French brands. And whilst this list is not complete because there are so many French brands I like, these are the ones that I would highly recommend you have a look at. They're the sorts of brands that I tend to buy from more regularly. It would be lovely to hear your favorite French brand in the comments section below, either one that I've mentioned today or something else that you would like to recommend to the other subscribers. It's always lovely to hear from you. As always, thank you so much for all your likes, your comments, and for subscribing to my channel. I'm always very, very grateful. Make sure you come back Wednesday for lots more outfit inspiration. Have a great couple of days. Take care.